Hey everyone, this time I got here a uh, Contec that I'm borrowing and I gave this one a try the other day or some time ago and uh, one of the things I want to show what's what I'm talking about when I suspected that I was actually going over the rated current or what the current would actually be drawn on high which is straight power running. Here I finally got the rig from Dan to try and uh, give this stuff a test since uh, he's in the midst of uh, finding settling in a place and moving into a place to test fans but we did some videos here did some fans here but I'm actually going to show from what I've previously done I actually hooked up my actual control to the rig to show and the meter too to show what actually happens so I'm going to start with low of course and I'm already drawn at 0.29 and that's set to low steadily at 2 this definitely would be the kind of low that I'd want it's effective. Now, I'm going to go up to a medium low with it. Now, I remember getting a current rating on straight high of 0.45 as the final reading, and I am already there, so really close to high. Now, one thing I want you to watch as I go to high medium it goes way over yeah now I flip the switch to high which is uh, would be the same as going to high on here and I'll show that in just a second but I flip the high switch on and this is the actual current rating that I get. But when I turn it off and run high medium, it's going way over. Now I'm going to flip it to high and it dropped back down to to 4 to 0.45. So so going getting both in the camera, I'm going to switch to high medium seeing that goes way over versus high which dropped way back down so this this is the control that I have in my bedroom only it's just a fan control and not a light combination one but it's still this is definitely would not work with this fan right here I already know I already know that so I am going to do the decade box I'm just going to turn it off I'm going to unplug that and plug in the decade box right in its place. We'll stop it and I'm, I want to see exactly how high up I can actually go since I already know that I'm easily going way over on a four speed. I think that's a, a 6814 control. So All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do what Dan does here. See, one, does not start. Two, it already starts. And I'm getting point one. So, I'm going to go to three. Point one, six, four. It's flopping between point two, two. Well, actually, now it's steadily reading, but I think this would be too slow of a low for me. This is for a 36 inch industrial. I don't find a slow low to be effective enough. A bigger one would be more effective, but this, no. I'm going to go up to five. Okay. And I get an effective low. 
and I practically get the same reading. As, as I would with the decade box. Six. So actually, I think this is a 5, 10, 15. It's got to be because I got the same reading on 5 as I did on low. Practically, I got the same reading. So it, this is actually a 5, 10, 15. I'm going to try this one out to see if this is... Ex I thought that would be a... You know, this would be an 8... Or a 6, 8, 14, but no, this is a 5, 10, 15. Because I'm getting the same reading as on 5 as I did on low. So I'm going to do 6, and I'm already getting 0.35. And that's already uh, closer to a medium. And, you know, this would definitely be something... Uh, if I wanted to use capacitor controls, I'd have to make one with my own values and almost be in the single digits just to get the speeds that this thing should have. And then seven, I'm already at uh, point, point 0.38, so close to point 0.4. And now I'm just going to go to eight, point four two, four one. Okay, so it dropped. I'm literally at high. I'm literally now watch this. I'm this is at eight. I'm gonna flip the high switch. 0.45. Drop it down. 0.41. So I'm really close. I'm just gonna do nine. Now I'm already over. I'm already over. So I'm gonna flip it to nine, show I'm already over. Hit the high switch, so I can definitely not use a 5, 10, 15 on here. Now, if I want to do one more thing, pull the, pull the decade out. Got it on low, which is at five. Now I'm already, I don't know if this is even a 10, this could be an 11. Well, maybe not. This is, I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. This has got low medium. This is low medium. And I am at I'll plug that in. Six and seven. It's almost like, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm going to have to, I don't have a capacitor meter, but I should have had them test the values on this one. It's one thing I should have gotten. I'm at less, this can't be a six. Hmm. This one's got I'm I'm curious about the values in this thing, but I know this thing goes way over, so whether it's a 5, 10, 15 or a 4, 7. I can't even use a 4, 7, 11 on here because now watch. I'm already going over. I'm already going over on 9, so uh, Emerson that claims to be a 4711 definitely would not even work on this I'm curious I got a three speed right here this is from my house this is I replaced them with four speeds so I'm curious about this hold on I'm gonna 
put the camera down. All right, I got the three speed, and I'm gonna plug that in place of the decade box. Okay, I got low right here, and I'm drawing uh, 0.25. Now I'm going to go up to a 2, which is medium. Oh my god, I'm actually... I'm practically at high. I'm right on the money with the actual rating. Well, I don't know if it's going to drop anymore, but... Let it pick up speed, but oh my god. Yeah, it's like... There's really... I'm almost try certain... Unless you make your own values on this fan here. Look at that. That's already at high. Now I'm going to flip the high switch. At 0.45. That's what I get. Turn it off. Yeah. At least uh, with this 3 speed you're not going over. But it's useless. Because even uh, flip it to high. I'm at 0.45, which is what I get on high. 4.2. So really no difference between medium and high on this three-speed capacitor control. So, yeah, that's one of the things I wanted to show. Try not just the decade box, but to even show actual controls on this thing. I'm going to turn this off. Yeah. Any of those? I can't even use it. It's almost like... I almost feel like if I were to mount this or put this anywhere, I'm going to try it with that solid state. It's in the rig here. And... Uh, I'm going to go to the solid state. And point 0.1. Now I turned it up to 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's... Oh, I know my fan for my drums is still on, so... I'm going to turn that off. Enigma and gold line. Yeah, it does hum, so... <laughs> Unless you want to just run it as an on-off, it's like... There's really not a lot of speed control options here. I'm almost wondering... I got my Fasco control, and I got a 5-speed Evergo. I might want to see what those do, because... This is kind of noisy. Okay. Still doesn't uh, go over on the solid state, but it... It is rather noisy. Huh. Sometimes I feel a little stumped on uh, what control would actually be good for this. There just really isn't. Well, I'm gonna... Listen. I hear buzz and hum out of the solids. Okay. I am going to 
I'm wondering about. I did a video on different controls of with this Contech, so I'm going to try it again, this time getting some readings to see what I actually get. I want to try the uh, Fasco. Okay. Well, here is the Fasco control, if I can get this thing to focus. All right. It's on the capacitor switch. Now let's see how it reacts. Because I might be able to use the Fasco control with this Contec. We'll see. I mean, granted, the FASCO control being transformer-based does cause a little bit of hum, but not as bad as a solid state. And I'm getting a nice low out of it. This isn't bad, so it's off to a good start. Let's try medium-low. Oh, I'm getting the reading of 0.24. Okay, I think now the question, see this is more of a medium low, so feeling a breeze already. Now is the big question between high and high medium. Let's try high medium. Oh, hold on. No, at 0.33 and it's rated for 0.45, so it's starting to go pretty fast but it's nowhere close to high so I think I think this this Fasco here is definitely a winner now let's just do high it's got to drop back down to 0.45 yep it's that's high now I'm gonna do, go back to high medium Yep. Okay, it's steadied out at 0.3. Okay. So it's already towards high, but that's what I want is something that's under high. Now, just for grins, turn it back up to high. I already showed you the reading. Oh, yeah. Quite a difference. So I think we finally have a winner. With this transformer based uh, Fasco four speed control that I got with my Fasco Charleston. But I still want to try, just for grins, this control, this uh, Montgomery Ward Evergo control. Okay, I got here, I'm going to plug this back in. Now, I'm going to stop it by hand. And I now have the uh, five speed control hooked up. So I'm just, even though I said we have a winner with that Fasco, I'm going to see what this does just to see. Uh. So I got it set all the way to 5, which is low. So this is a 5 speed. Let's see. Okay, so it's a good low. Visually and uh, reading. Reading 0.23. Okay, so I'm going to take it up a notch, 0.29, when I go went to 4, already a step above low, which is what I want. Let's do a medium, which is at number 3, which is actually 0.35. is already getting towards high but now I want to see 
what number two is. Not much difference. Point three. Three, five. It's a variable, but this is almost variable speed. Okay, so there is definitely a big difference between 2 and 1. Three, 3, which is 2. I'm going to go down. Let's see. Yeah, not much difference between 2 and 3. So, yeah, this control, it gets a little bit useless at this section. Now you go from 3, go from 3 to 1, major difference. It's got to drop back down to 0.45. So, really, you're, you're better off with the 4-speed transformer base if you're going to use that. But at least you definitely do not go over on it. You definitely don't go over this one, but just is not, it gets a little bit useless. So that's really all for uh, the contact now since I got the rig that I'm borrowing. And I was suspecting that this was hitting a resonant frequency with with uh, this control here, this is exactly what I have in my bedroom. So if I put this in my bedroom, I'm going to have to put, I'll use the FASCO control since that is really the safest control that I can find for it. So that is all. And thank you for watching.